have one track race left this evening. It's the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase final. And Luisa Gega of Albania, until a few, well, probably a few days ago, would have thought she was a shoe in for this gold medal. Lizzie Bird went really fast in Monaco. Leah Mayer is the German champion. She's on posters all around the city centre here. Leah Mayer, another fantastically popular German athlete. They've got great following here in their home nation. Michelle Finn. Jack of Slovenia, she's going to come back from injury now. Lizzie Bird has that blue number because she went all the way down to nine minutes and seven, cent seven seconds at the Monaco Diamond League. Took a whopping seven seconds off the British record. Louisa Geiger of Albania holds every national record from 800 to marathon, including this, the steeplechase. She was fifth at the World Championships, a top European in Oregon. And I wouldn't be surprised if Luisa Geiger made this race fast, maybe not from the start, she might wait a little bit. Elena Bucard is very experienced. She's won so many championships. And she uh, thanks the crowd for their support. Robles to the person best at the World Champs. Got 15 athletes down there. Amy Pratt, seventh at the World Championships, second European home there. She was really excited to see what she could do with the rest of the summer. Similar to Dina Asher Smith and Jasmine Sawyers, Ailish from Colgan. Amy Pratt, another athlete, talking about the effects of the menstrual cycle on their bodies and how they compete, because Amy Pratt was bitterly disappointed with the fourth place at the Commonwealth Games. And then had to watch on as Lizzie Bird took that on national record. Box. Just over seven and a half laps of the track. Mondo de Plantis, the only other competitor still out there active. And these 15 women hauling themselves round the outside of the track, over 35 barriers. And Luisa Gega of Albania to the four, straight away. She's super quick over a range of distances. It's at least 403 or so, her Albanian record. 100 meter speed, but she's carving out a brilliant career over steeplechase. For a few years, it was the Americans, and that's Emma Coburn, getting involved with the African athletes of Courtney Ferrix and Geza Krauser sort of started the charge of the European athletes, getting them involved on a global stage. And Louisa Geiger very much holding that mantle now. Louisa. Uh, Geza Kraus would have been the three-time defending champion. I think that's why we've seen this event timetabled at the end of day six here at the European Championships. Geza Kraus are just struggling with injury. So she's inspired her nation super well. Leah Mayer of Germany pushing herself to new heights with every season that goes by. So Luisa Geiger through the 400 meter mark, I think in around about 70, which is very swift, but that first quarter often is. They haven't got as many barriers to get over and they haven't got the water jump. Here's our first look at the water jump. Hurdling any of these barriers in a big group is a change for a lot of these athletes. So they're competing at a national level at home. They might be out at the front on their own, getting a clear sight of the barrier. And suddenly they've got to learn to hurdle in a group. Gacy Krauser was supreme at that and she's dominated this event for the last few years, but Luisa Geiger out the front at the moment. Swiss athlete Chiara Scherder is the new national record holder for Switzerland. She bettered the mark of Fabian Schlump at the Paris Diamond League. Lizzie Bird ran a small national record at the Paris Diamond League as well. Our Europeans have had a really good time, particularly Stockholm and Paris. Alice Spinot of France, another athlete that has catapulted up the European rankings this season, unfortunately injuring herself at the World Championships. She's not able to be here. Louisa Geiger, Lizzie Bird, the fastest on paper. Alexa Schurer, Mayer, Amy Pratt, certainly got a claim at a medal. Well, as you say, Hannah, it's a slightly different complexion to, let's say, some of the Diamond League circuit and uh, World Finals. Not many of these women have the experience of being part of this competition. We've been waiting all night for this final. I've been waiting all summer for it. Three and a half laps left in the women's steeplechase. Louisa Geiger of Albania caught on the pressure. She started this move around about two laps ago. I thought Lizzie Bird of Great Britain and Northern Ireland might have missed the move. 
but she's managed to get herself up into second place. Amy Pratt, Leah Mayer, Schurer of Switzerland working hard for that bronze medal position. Louisa Geiger did a three minute first kilometre. We've just seen a championship record from Mondo Duplantis. Championship record in this event stands at nine minutes and 17. Louisa Geiger surely is going to be miles under that. And it might not even be the Albanian that takes the gold medal because Lizzie Byrne is sticking to her like glue. They've gone through three laps to go. They're coming up to the final kilometre. But if Louisa Geiger could hang on, this would be a huge piece of history for Albania, a country that's never won an Olympic medal in any sport. But this woman has been the flag bearer for them at the last two games. Her silver medal from 2016, their best performance ever at these championships. She could well, surely, at least match that. 3.07, second kilometre for Louisa Geiger. We have chucked in a few extra barriers and the water jump, so she's maintaining a fantastic tempo here probably right around her personal best mark of 9 minutes and 10 seconds. But Louisa Geiger gets a look over her shoulder. In so many championships, so many races where you can hear your competitors, but not here in Munich. They are roaring. They've been treated to a wonderful spectacle of Mondo de Francis and a championship record. And now Leah Mayer is eating up ground on Lizzie Bird and Louisa Geiger. She's having a run of her life. I thought we might be looking for Amy Pratt to catch. Leah Mayer, but with two laps to go, it's Albania in one, Great Britain and Northern Ireland in second, and Germany in third. We've seen so many inspired German performances here on this track. Could Leah Mayer be, be out, be about to deliver another? She's 15 seconds slower on personal best than Louisa Geiger. Much more, another three seconds slower than that behind Lizzie Bird. But Leah Mayer having the run of her life at the moment. Wow, Mayer just joining our top two, Gega. She's led for so long. How much does she have left? Louisa Gega, for the first time, opens up daylight between her and Lizzie Bird. The graphic is telling us it's five minutes, five metres between Gega and Lizzie Bird. There's a ball from the crowd because Leah Mayer has overtaken and gone into the silver medal position, and Leah Mayer just bravely striking out. Bird at the top of the European rankings with her 9.07 and at the moment in the bronze medal position. But just as I say that, Lizzie Bird responds. We see this at the British Championships very often from Lizzie Bird. She often, the penultimate lap doesn't look so special. And then she lifts and she drives. On a, in many steeple chase fields, Lizzie Bird would have one of the fastest personal bests at around about 4.12. But Louisa Geiger is on another planet in terms of 1500 meter running. And at the moment is just stretching away from Lizzie Bird and Leah Mayer. Louisa Geiger hits the top of the back straight. She's got over that barrier cleanly. She's got two barriers and one water jump to go to take the gold medal for Albania. She took a silver behind Geza Klauser four years ago. Silver in Amsterdam in 2016. Apologies, for a while ago. And then Geiger came and did 1,500 metres for a while, experimented with the half marathon, with the marathon. But Louisa Geiger of Albania back in the steeplechase, surely her best event. She's so good over the barriers, defying logic. She shouldn't be, she's a bit shorter than some of her competitors, but Louisa Geiger clearly works incredibly hard on her technique. And Leah Mayer, this is an incredible performance. Lizzie Bird looking to be struggling. Louisa Geiger safely over the final barrier. She's going to take a gold medal for Albania. No medal so far for Albania anywhere else. European Athletics Track Championships and Louisa Geiger looks like she's crying across the line with 9-11 a championship record, Leah Mayer a huge personal best and a silver medal and a very tired Lizzie Bird holds on for a bronze medal, Lizzie Bird went for it tried to match the move of Louisa Geiger Leah, Leah Mayer what a well judged middle, middle kilometre she had the bravery and the commitment to pull up herself past the likes of Lizzie Bird Amy Pratt, the other athletes that were trying to compete behind. A massive personal best for Leah Mayer as well. 10 seconds, lowering from 9.25, that was already a personal best this season, all the way down to 9.15. It's a shame not to see Geza Krause go for a hat-trick hat for Germany in front of a home crowd, but Leah Mayer giving this stadium a lot to cheer about. They will be dancing in the streets of Tirana and in uh, Gaga's hometown of Deba in the north-east of the country tonight. What a performance 
their first gold medal at these championships. Never won a medal at the World Athletics Championships, all the Olympic Games, Albania. Truly incredible stuff. And you know what? She ran that gun to tape as though no one was ever going to come past her. Incredible stuff. Mayer really got the lift of the crowd to step through into second place to get that silver for Germany. And look how tired Lizzie Bird is. Credit to her, though. She would have been waiting for the European Championships to be a medal contender. Someone who uh, was an immigration officer until a couple of years ago and committed to athletics to try and achieve something like this. You can see some tired athletes well down there who couldn't live without opening pace. Couldn't believe it, Anna. Three minutes for the opening kilometre. Absolutely extraordinary for Geiger. You just wondered if the 33-year-old was going to tire at some point. But it's been a night of athletes just giving energy until the last. Just like Ben Cabo, how many races has she had? What incredible form from uh, Louisa Geiger, and she is the champion for Albania. Louisa Geiger coming off that brilliant fifth place at the World Championships. That was a quick race. There was other athletes that made that running. And I did think of Louisa Geiger really like you know, that that was brought out her very best performance, a fifth place at the World Championships. And to do that when you're following other athletes, whether that's at a Diamond League or at a World Championships, is one thing. But Louisa Geiger showing so much poise and experience to lead this final gun to take. So three minutes, a 3.07, and then a 3.04 last kilometre, mainly on her own. And she's so good at hurdling. There is an advantage of leading in steeplechase as well. You get a clear sight of the barrier. You've not got to worry about everyone else behind you slowing down, speeding up, swinging wide. Louisa Geiger could just run the rail the whole way through, and she got a almost a lap of honour on her own in the race. And she pulled away from everybody else. Look at her sighting that barrier, gets over it, and then checks the big screen. Which such is the experience of the Albanian athlete. And it was at this point, around about 350 metres to go, and Mia Meyer overtook an athlete that has just run 18 seconds faster than she ever has. Did we know Leah Mayer was on for a 10-second personal best in front of the home crowd? Inspired and brave, much like from stands at Klosterhaufen and Richard Ringer, gold medalist in the endurance events. Leah Mayer bringing her very, very, very best at home championships. Berlin was special four years ago. Munich has been very kind to its local athletes. But Louisa Geiger, a media outpouring of emotion. I think we all have to fight off the tears after watching Louisa Gega win there. Look at that, Maya, what it means to her. Lizzie Bird, well, tough to take. She looked exhausted over the last couple of laps, but she did still intelligently try to save something for the final 400. So tactically, pretty good as well. Athletes dropping well, well back behind. Amy Pratt was in fourth at one point, but uh, dropped to seventh over the last couple of laps, so just tells you how much was taken out of some of these athletes in this field. That might be Albania's best ever performance in any sport. I have to have a think. I know they've qualified for some uh, European championships in football, which might get some fans excited, but individually, this is beyond heroic. result for the women's steeplechase. Louisa Geiger with a championship record 9.11 from Leah Mayer of Germany with a huge 10 second personal best 9.15. Lizzie Bird of Great Britain and Northern Ireland picking up the bronze medal with 9 minutes and 23 seconds.